Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Pickaxe Trump star vandal admits why he did it. Claims Robert De Niro has his back. Early Wednesday, a man took a pickaxe to President Trump's Hollywood Walk of Fame star and totally destroyed it, according to Los Angeles police officer Ray Brown. It's not the first time it has been vandalized, and it's not even the first time it's been destroyed. But the vandal, Austin Clay, 24, certainly did the most thorough job of taking it out this time. Online records of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department list Clay as released early Thursday morning after being charged with a felony offense. His next court date is scheduled for August 15. Clay claims he was so fed up with Trump that he felt compelled to do what he did. He's not sorry and he's happy he did it too. Clay is proudly owning it, as stated in an exclusive interview with TMZ. He says what pushed him over the edge was the president's treatment of immigrant families and their children. Clay felt that destroying Trump's star was the perfect way to send a message to the president of the United States. Not so much. It doesn't seem like this sends any kind of message that Trump will or should listen to and the star has already been restored. What I don't understand is why no one stopped this guy. Someone had to see him do it even if it was at night. Then again, we are talking Hollywood here and perhaps no one cared. Patricia Cox, a witness, told CNN affiliate KCAL slash KCBS that she saw a man going to town on the ground like it was his business just to be tearing up the ground, she said. I thought it was work going on over here. Video from KCAL slash KCBS shows tourists taking photos of the defaced star in front of the Hollywood and Highland Center, a major tourist spot in Hollywood. Clay and his girlfriend say that his pickaxe caught the attention of a couple of celebrities, including noted Trump foe Robert De Niro. He's certainly no fan of the Donald and lets it be known every chance he gets these days. I'm not exactly sure how this caught De Niro's attention or what the backstory is here. But we'll probably hear about it at some future point in time. Clay seems to be claiming that De Niro has his back and left him a voice message. We'll see. This guy certainly seems to like the attention. You can see his video admission here when a TMZ reporter caught up with him. CNN Politics has the details of what led up to this recent interview with Clay. Trump star has repeatedly been the target of vandalism and protests since the reality TV stars turned to politics. In April 2016, a Superman impersonator on Hollywood Boulevard said he had seen visitors make obscene gestures next to the star, deface it with paint and allow a dog to relieve itself on the landmark. People often stomp with anger on the star, others kick their heels over the star, and some spit. The last time, someone put a sticker over the star, Francisco Javier, another street performer who was dressed like Superman, said at the time. A street artist constructed a tiny wall around Trump's star in July 2016 and that October Los Angeles police arrested a man who they said vandalized the star with a sledgehammer and a pickaxe. Clay was arrested around 3 a.m. on Wednesday. He called the police himself. Hollywood Division officers responded to the call at 3.33 a.m. to the tourist area. He was arrested on suspicion of felony vandalism. James Otis, who destroyed Trump's Hollywood star in 2016, offered to pay Clay's $20,000 bail, but someone else paid it first. It's not known who that was at this point. Otis is an heir to the Otis Elevator Company, which is one of the largest elevator and escalator companies in the world. It costs $3,000 to replace Trump's star and the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce will be going after Clay for the bill. Laron Gubler, who is the president and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, said in a statement that the Walk of Fame is an institution celebrating the positive contributions of the inductees. When people are unhappy with one of our honorees, we would hope that they would project their anger in more positive ways than to vandalize a California state landmark," Gubler said. Our democracy is based on respect for the law. People can make a difference by voting and not destroying public property. All true except the democracy part. We are a republic. By early Wednesday afternoon, construction workers were busily mixing concrete to replace the destroyed star. Tourists and residents leaned over the yellow caution tape surrounding the star to snap photos and selfies of where it had been. SMH. Greg Donovan, the former official greeter for Beverly Hills, stood near the star all day, holding a Trump 2020 sign and wearing a red coat and top hat. Donovan said when he heard the news on the radio about Trump's star, he decided to take the day off and instead spend it showing his support for the president by standing sentinel. He even snagged a piece of the destroyed star, a few people offered him money to buy it, but he wasn't selling. If you're going to protest, don't protest a California landmark, Donovan said. You are free to speak your mind, but why do that? It's bad. It's wrong.
others in all kinds of costumes took advantage of the attention as well. It is, after all, Hollywood. However, the action was not met with overwhelming approval this time. Even Hollywood liberals thought the defacement went too far. In the end, what Clay did says far more about him than President Trump. The star has been replaced and Trump is still making America great again. Clay, not so much. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.